Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Entra ID password protection. My name is Ravneet Kumar. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and the founder of Train Trust Technologies. Microsoft Entra ID password protection is a security feature that prevents users from setting weak or compromised passwords. It helps safeguarding accounts from unauthorized access by blocking passwords which are commonly or easily guessable. This, that includes the typical passwords like password123 or uh, QWERTY. Based on the personal information, it prevents use the name of uh, uh, users or the birthdays or the sensitive data and part of the known password breaches. So it blocks passwords that have been exposed in data breaches. How it works? It works by password validation. When a user attempts to set or reset a password, it's checked against a global bent password list. Microsoft cybersecurity team works closely on these uh, global bent password lists, but these passwords are not uh, exposed or this password global bent password list is not exposed. We also can define custom bent passwords where we can put the uh, passwords that users might commonly use while setting up their passwords. So we can provide our own custom set of passwords that are not allowed for the users to set up. It blocks the weak passwords. So we can uh, uh, provide the band list with uh, those weak passwords that will be rejected for the users if they try to set. What benefits it offers? It offers enhanced security. It protects against common password attacks like brute force attacks or password spray attacks. Reduced password related support. So fewer password reset requests due to blocked weak passwords. Compliance helps meet security standards and regulations as well. We also have few uh, considerations. We need to understand that uh, the password protection or setting up a strong password is not the only method to secure your identities. We can consider using the multi-factor authentications. We need to educate the users on setting up the passwords as well. Microsoft provides a guidance on setting up the passwords that you see the link below on uh, Microsoft's research and the guidance that provides you the details about you know what should you take take care when you set the password for your uh, users so uh, you can visit to this research paper you can get access from the link that has been provided here now let's jump into the demonstration on setting up the entra id password protection for this i'm using the microsoft entra portal so i'm into the entra.microsoft.com where i will go to the identity so there are multiple blades over here. You will notice that identity protection and then we have multiple blades over here. So I'll go to the identity in the identity and excuse me, not to the identity. I'll go to the protect, uh, protection and in the protection, I'll go to the authentication methods. In the authentication methods, we have something called password protection. In password protection, I can provide the lockout threshold that if the users make invalid attempts, number of invalid attempts that the account will be locked out for the first time. You can over over your cursor also here to understand that, okay, number of invalid attempts that you can provide to the users and for how long the account will be uh, locked. Then uh, custom bent passwords, which is by default disabled. And uh, as far as that global bent passwords is concerned, that is enabled by default. And in, in fact, that cannot be disabled because of the security reasons. And we cannot deal with those global bent passwords because uh, Entra IT will use that uh, feature automatically to ban those uh, uh, passwords in that global bent list of the passwords. But custom passwords, we can turn on if we want. Now, now we got that uh, option to set up these passwords. There are different uh, factors that we can consider while providing these custom band passwords. Uh, like users may use the brand name uh, into the uh, password. So for example, this company is Adatum. So I will say Adatum or Adatum exclamation mark one, two, three. Users should not use this password. 
or adapt them at one two three this kind of thing or maybe my headquarter is in london so all the different combinations i can set over here so london will not be accepted or uh, adapt them at london such sort of passwords i can provide that uh, uh, will not be accepted so this is the custom band password list here you will see the example here that a list of word list of words one per line you will be providing to prevent your users from using their password passwords and you should include words specific to your organizations like the products trademarks industries local cities and the towns uh, local sports teams and so on so there is a complete guide about that now password uh, protection for windows server active directory suppose you are using the hybrid uh, ad and you want to set this feature for your on-premises uh, active directory domain service as well so you can uh, use this feature as yes now whether you want this as a soft policy just for auditing purpose just for a audit log to be created if user uses any password which is weak password or is banned or you want to enforce that will prevent the users from setting up the uh, banned passwords so for an instance i want to enforce this so i will click on enforced and then we'll click on save these settings are uh, self-explanatory you can hover over your cursor and work with them so i will click on save and we'll set up this password protection this way so this is about uh, the uh, password protection uh, um, in uh, entra id that i discussed uh, I shared the link in the um, in the slide uh, for the guidance that Microsoft provides for the password. So you can visit that uh, uh, link and you can see that research of Microsoft that research paper shows that the guidance for the password. So for ID, formerly known as Azure Active Directory or for ADDS, uh, it allows you to support the recommend recommendation in this uh, paper. So maintain an eight character minimum length requirement and uh, longer is not necessary necessarily better okay uh, because otherwise if the passwords are longer so it will be difficult for you to remember them eliminate character composition requirements eliminate mandatory uh, periodic password resets for uh, user accounts uh, why are we saying that periodic password resets for the user accounts you should elim uh, eliminate that if the users are uh, asked to reset their passwords periodically then they will start using commonly known passwords or easy passwords that they can remember easily or they might start noting them down somewhere so uh, here we have this entire guide create a unique password for your microsoft account what should you do here keep your security info up to date watch for suspicious activities so check for the recent activities include the two factor or third factor of authentication uh, wherever possible so leverage the uh, multi-factor authentications and uh, this is the acknowledgement and the content as you see over here on the uh, passwords so you can visit this uh, uh, reference link and uh, look into this research paper on the guidance for setting up the passwords for your users i hope this session was informative to you about the password protection uh, Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more videos.